So, um, ladies and gentlemen, so now what they're asking us to do for this problem is they're asking us to um, write the equation of the hyperbola. All right. Now, before I can write the equation, I need to understand what type of equation I need to write. Destin, I don't know why I have to keep on saying this. I need to figure out which equation I'm going to use. There's one equation where it's x minus h minus y minus k, and the other equation is y minus k minus x minus h. So I need to figure out which one I'm going to use for a horizontal or a vertical. The only information I'm given right now is 0, 5, and 0, negative 5 are the vertices. So let's plot them. 0, 5 is 1, 2, I'm sorry, 0, 5 is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Now, those are your two vertices. We know our vertices, our center, and our foci all lie on what we call the transverse axis, right? So, is, if our transverse a, is our transverse axis then vertical or horizontal? Vertical. vertical. So the formula for a vertical transverse axis is going to be, remember it's always a squared minus b squared as your denominators, right? But since now it's vertical, I'm going to have y minus k squared. So I'm going to now use the other form of our formula. When we have a vertical transverse axis, our y squared is over our a. If it was a horizontal transverse axis, the x minus h squared would be over the a. But it's always a squared minus b squared, always, for a hyperbola. OK, so now we need to determine what our a, b, and c are, right? So first of all, our vertices, remember the distance from your vertice to your center is a. Well, first of all, let's figure out what our center is. We know that the center is equidistant away from our two vertices, right? The center is in right in the middle. So you guys could use the midpoint formula if you wanted to, or you can just look at it and say, all right, the center zero. is 0, comma 0, right? Um, and since our center is 0, comma 0, we know our distance a has to equal 5. So now I can say the center equals 0, comma 0, and a equals 5. So the only thing left to do now is figure out what b squared is. So they gave us the asymptote, right? And remember, asymptote come in the form of um, your, for this is vertical, so it's k plus or minus uh, a over b times x minus h. But remember, our, z our h and k are 0, right? So y equals 0 plus or minus a over b x minus 0, which is really y equals plus or minus a over b. Well, we already know what a is, right? a is 5. So what's our b? 3. So now we know the center, we know a, and we know b. Can we now write the equation by plugging them into this equation? Yeah. a squared is now 9 minus x squared over b squared. I'm sorry. b squared, a squared is 25. And there you go. Cool, Ashley? No, not amazing? I thought that was very cool. <laughs>